Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen and it is time for the February MTB Slam. Uh, you guys who have not not really uh, ever seen a Master Mystery Tracker box, what it is, it is a, a monthly subscription product where you can go and order uh, up to one, three, six, or a year worth of uh, worth of boxes. They send you a box every month and it gets you get fresh brand new tackle in it. It's pretty cool. Are you gonna open this one? Um yeah, I was planning on it. I just can Are I you join you? Yeah, uh, I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Everybody, this is the other KB. How's it going? Carl Von Dibble. All right, we're going to open this thing up. If I can get my knife open. I just rip into it with my hands. No, usually. no, 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 no. I'm I'm a little more dainty than that. Watch your fingers. Well, I, got, I know hey, how to work a hey, knife. Hey, 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 hey. Blood circle, blood circle. Boy Scouts will know what that is. I was looking right. <laughs> Uh-oh, Carl's got one. All right, let's see what's in it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Now these are, this is pretty cool. This is the, hold on, I got to get that little card out. Hold on. What do you think, Carl? Man. I think that's a, the BD Flashpoint Jerk Bait. The BD Flashpoint Jerk Bait. This is a, uh, this is one that was designed by Boyd Duckett, classic champion. Pretty cool little jerk bait. I'll hold on to that. We'll see what we can do with it later today. Um, this is the Lucky Shad striking. It's a new little, uh, little jerk bait uh or a little jerk bait it's a little crank bait uh perfect for when the bass are real finicky kind of kind of no, neat I'm little just... crap man come on now um then the cutter worm from rage tail i love these things i've already used them there i punch them i put them on a punch rig and punch them through grass because they slide right through them caught a six pounder on one at uh chickamauga this year so thank you i didn't have to punch you <laughs> um Oh, got to flip the card over. We have got the hogs, Hogzilla from Fish Hog. Uh, pretty cool little lizard, perfect for this springtime. I love to put it on a Carolina rig or a Texas rig for those uh, pre-spawn pre females. Big fish can come off of that. Um, and the Creek Creature from uh, Big Bite Baits. Another good springtime deal. Throw it on a Texas rig or we'll work it around brush piles. And then to go with that, you've got the hooks, the Ultra Point uh ultra locks they're three aughts a two-pack from mustad pretty cool little hooks and then last but not least the coolest thing to ever come out in a mystery tackle box the calendar <laughs> it's a 2015 calendar um and mr. february right here yes and i am mr february uh carl's mr january naturally <laughs> shut up and i'm mr february <laughs> Pretty cool, and the cool thing about this calendar is it has the dates and stuff of the FLW and BASS tournaments, uh, all the major ones, even the B, uh, the is that the BFLs? Yep, even the BFLs and the college stuff. So they're already on the calendar. Get that, and uh, and you know you won't miss the tournament. So that's pretty cool. Should we go try this stuff out? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going. <laughs> let's get some fishing poles. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> we got him. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. We gotta sneak. Oh my! Look at this. <laughs> I want that one right there. Yeah, me too. Oh, that one's big. Ah. <laughs> All right. So how are we gonna get up there? There's no ladder. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't get up there. <laughs> Man. All right, we'll have to come up with a different idea. Let's find somewhere else. Man. All right. Hey, I got another idea. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take the baits around to all of the guys who designed these and made them, and we're going to let them show you how they fish them. How's that? How's that sound? You think that's a good idea? I think I can get it in there. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't think it's a good idea. You never live. Oh, oh, master. Crap. Uh, that's it. Well, let's do Fine, that. Fine, we'll go around. Let's we'll go talk around and talk to these guys. See what he's done. All right, cool. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with Bassmaster Classic champion Boyd Duckett. Also, he's uh, one of the best elite anglers on tour. And he's going to talk to us about his, his new jerk bait that he just, just designed for castaic baits. 
Well, and right here in the mystery tackle box, I think I think this month or, yep. or this month. next month, yeah, yep. this month, it's got the new BD series. This is the BD 115 jerk bait. Of course, the jerk bait is one of my favorite baits when the water's cold. Uh, I fish it on a 6.6 six rod, maybe a 6.8 rod, something small enough that you can jerk straight down. You want to put it on fairly light line, maybe 10-pound uh, fluorocarbon, throw it out there, twitch it a couple of times, uh, maybe three or four in the beginning to let the bait sink, and then don't be afraid to let it pause. That's the key to a jerk bait is, is jerk it a couple times and let it pause. Jerk it a couple more times, and those pauses when the, when the water is really cold, sometimes three, four, or five seconds, that'll make a lot of difference. This is a fantastic bait. And as always, you get great stuff in this mystery tackle box. Cool, thanks Boyd, we You're really appreciate welcome. it. Hey guys, we're here with uh, Elite Pro Andy Montgomery, actually one of my favorite Elite Pros. Uh, he is, he's gonna tell us a little bit, little bit about the Lucky Shad crankbait, kind of one of my favorite things. It's, one of my, it's gonna be one of my favorite baits on Clark Hill, so he'll tell, you, he'll tell us about it. And basically wintertime, you know, it's, yep. it's a really good wintertime bait. We want that tight wobble, real tight action on a crankbait, and that's what the Lucky Shad got, does. It's got a real tight wobble, cold water situation when you really want to crank it show. And the good thing about the, the Lucky Shad, it's a plastic bait, so you're going to be able to cast it a lot better than yep. you would a balsa bait. So you're going to be able to fish this on a bait caster or spinning rod, whichever one you like. Cold water, fall of the year, early spring, winter time, the Lucky Shad is going to catch some fish. Shoot ya, shoot ya. I love the size of it. I mean, just when they're real finicky and get in those little bitty they yep, you yep. get on those little bitty yep. bait, man, they can just whack it. But you it, know, so. dude, if you'd put a Clemson paw no, on that hat no, of a no, Georgia no. sticker, you'd probably catch more fish. <laughs> no. <though. laughs> These dang South Carolina guys, man. I actually pulled for Georgia a little bit. <laughs> <That's what> he... <laughs> <laughs> He's going. He took my bait. That's he needs where? to take a little hat. <laughs> <laughs> <Then he> really... <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. We appreciate it. Thanks for showing people what yes, this thing can do. Man. That's great. So we've got Scott Montgomery here from Big Bite Baits. He's going to tell us about his bait. He's going to take. It. He's going to tell you kind of how to fish it, how how he would rig it, and uh, and go on from there. So. Yeah, we got a uh, free creature here by Big Bite Baits. Jeff Crete designed this about three years ago. He designed it to be a uh, dragon type bait where you would put it on like a Carolina rig and uh, you throw it out there and you kind of just drag it slow and these two flappers on each side, they really make it feel like you're dragging a lot of uh, back pressure, but it, it, yeah. it puts out so much action that the fish, they really like this bait when you throw it on a Carolina rig. Some people put it on the back of a jig or a jig trailer or work that way as well. It's really good uh, in the spring, dragging it around beds, like where you would use a normal preacher bait. This is a really good application for that. It's been a really good bait for us over the years. What, what I've done with them is I've used it on a Texas rig, and, and a lot of times in the spring they're still lethargic, but they want to eat, and you throw it in there to that brush pile and just let it sit on the bottom and shake it, and all these little tentacles right there, they will just, they'll just flutter, and eventually that bass will nose down to it and pick it up so there's lots of different ways to fish that kind of stuff so cool guys so uh once again scotty montgomery from big bite baits thanks a lot guys we've got the fish hog hogzilla and it's a it's a lizard bait feels really soft really nice let me pull it out of the package so i so i don't try to fake it through the package no you can't have just let me have one. all right crap anyway so the ways that the ways i'd rig it what i love to do with a, a, a lizard is first of all in the springtime, I'll dip the tail in some chartreuse, JJ's of magic, put it on a Texas rig, go into those sha shallow pockets and, uh, and, and just find dark bottoms. And what happens, the sun shining on those dark bottoms, the water warms up faster on those dark bottoms or logs and things like that. And just pitch it around, you got all those legs and that tail that kicks. And a Texas rig, Carolina rig, short Carolina rig in the springtime, not a long, long leader. And, uh, and you should be able to catch fish on it. It's one of my favorite spring pine baits, good in the beds, good in pre-spawn, and you'll go out and you'll whack some fish with them. So it's not bad. Okay. All right, guys, I'm here with Steve Parks. He's one of my favorite people in the industry. You guys hear, about me, talk, uh, hear me talk about him all the time. He's also known as Big O Online, and he is the designer and, and inventor of the, uh, the Rage Tail products. And right now he's gonna talk about the cutter worm. You guys know I caught that six pounder in Chickamauga on a cutter worm, and he's the one that, that put me onto it. So let him talk about it. Well, if you can see, the cutter worm is about a six inch, basically a stick bait body, but it's got this little cut tail, hook tail on the back and a Rage Tail flange on it. 
One of the things I can tell you about it is there's a little tear tab on it that we take off. This is to make sure that the bait is correct when you get it. And there's a myriad of ways to fish it. Uh, one of my favorite ways is weightless. You know how we fish the weightless stick baits and those. But I can tell you, if you will hook it with that tail hooked up in a like a four aught to five aught hook, when it falls, the body shimmies just like a just like a stick bait does, but the tail whacks from back and forth like this, and it moves the entire body of the bait. It has additional action than the normal stick baits do. That's one way to use it, but you can also Texas rig it. It's a great little, it's one of the fastest buzz tail worms that there is. So you might want to fish it that way as well. The gentleman who, who put me onto this and said, hey, Big O, can you design something that's got a super fast tail that's got a stick bait body? was our good friend KVD. He's the one who said, if you can design something that's got that action on the fall and it's got additional tail action, he said, that's gonna be the winner. So we came out with this about a year and a half ago. And it's been a super hot item. You can also, another thing I'd like for you to think about is a weighted hook. We call it rage rig. You can actually put a weighted hook on this bait and swim it, kill it when you kill it, it's falling like this, and then the tail is sweeping back and forth. Another way is, you can pinch this worm halfway down, use a little open jig, like a quarter ounce to three eighths, and you can hook it on the back of that and swim it, kill it, let it fall, swim it, kill it. It looks like a little shad in the water. And uh, that's been a really productive way to fish it as well. You can do a lot of things with it. You can trail spinner baits. You can do all kinds of stuff. But it's a very versatile worm, and uh, it's been a lot of fun since we've come out with it. I really enjoy it. Thanks, Steve. We appreciate it. You bet, guys. Thanks, brother. You bet. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm here with Elite Series angler Edwin Evers, probably one of my best and favorite shallow water Thank fishermen. You. So, uh, and he's going to introduce the mustad. Uh, well, holy cow. The ultra lock hook. Yeah, the ultra lock. What's great about this hook is if you'll notice how much of a bend it has. And what that does for me, it keeps a bait up on the hook. You know, so many times, like when you're jerking a soft jerk bait like a Zoom Super Fluke, you know, you get to jerking it and the fish hits it, your bait's always going to slide down the hook. This thing has a very, you know, radical bend back up against the eye, so it really keeps baits up there. And the other thing I love about it, it's a light wire hook. This yep. is a hook. That, you know, when you're making long casts like with a super fluke or say I'm casting a worm, that light hook, I can get really good hook, hook penetration. Very, very important. A lot of people overlook yeah. the size of a hook, the diameter of a hook, because it, it, it's all about the penetration yep. that you get in a fish's mouth. So it's just a great hook for a lot of applications. You know, one, I love it on super flukes. I love it on, on my, my trick worms, mm -hmm. uh, speed worm, you know, those kinds of things. It's, it's a phenomenal hook for it. Awesome, awesome. Now, now, Eddie, what if you penetrate deep within your finger with one of these hooks? Uh, it's going to hurt a little bit, but the smaller <laughs> diameter, I can jerk it out better. All right. <laughs> That's good. Edwin Evers, guys. All right, guys. Well, that was the MTB Slam for February. Just want to let you know that this is going to be the last MTB Slam. Why, would, why wouldn't you tell me about that before we started? On this oh channel. <laughs> I'm moving it over to my, my big channel, my Flute Master channel. So from here on out, next month, the month after, all the way out, it's on my MTV Slam is going to be over on my big channel. That's the way it's going to happen. It's been so, a lot of fun reviewing my box. Yeah, I think it's going to be my box. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like I always say, I want you to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like it. More importantly, take somebody out, introduce them to fishing, help me to teach the world to fish, and help Carl find his own mystery tackle box. Thanks guys, have a great day.